from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Good evening, and welcome. I'm Ann McLean from the Library's Music Division. We are delighted tonight to have a very rare opportunity to present the distinguished Shigeyama Kyogen Troupe, masters of one of the world's great comic theater traditions, an art form more than six centuries old. And we're so pleased tonight to have with us Ipei Shigeyama, an artist who represents the 15th generation of his illustrious family whose history is an indelible part of Japan's cultural legacy. Welcome, Ipei-san. We're so glad that Washington's beautiful cherry blossoms have just now burst into, or just about to burst into snow, and into bloom after that little <laughs> snow. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> so, uh, just to a quick question, I know, of course, you and your family have appeared in many international venues, but is this your first time in Washington? Uh, I passed through once. Um, so we are very, very pleased to have you, and it's, it's very rare. Our colleague, Mari Nakahara, is from the library's prints and photographs division, and she has been the master producer for a host of wonderful events here that are part of the National Jerry Blossom Festival, have been a part over the past five years. And let me also introduce Motoko Shimutsu, for appearing as our translator this oh, evening. Hello. Um, let me thank a number of people for helping to make this possible. The library is co-presenting this performance with the Japan Information and Culture Center, Embassy of Japan, and the Japan Foundation. And we're also pleased to be collaborating with the Freer and Sackler Galleries at the Smithsonian's Museums of Asian Art. So we'd like to thank Yosuke Kanawa from the Office of the Japanese Embassy, um, and Koji Nozaki and Kaneko Shirasaki from the Japan Foundation. They have been invaluable colleagues. Also our colleague Michael Wilpers from the Freer, which will be offering a Kyogen workshop in two days at the Freer Gallery. And thanks, too, also very much to Dr. Dong Feng Shao, who's the chief of the library's Asian division, and to Eiichi Ito, Tonight, when you leave this, you'll have a chance to see three beautiful, rare books that are on display in our foyer, which AH has uh, chosen and put out, plus some flutes from the music division. And this will definitely illustrate the long, long history of the Shigeyama family. So um, now I'd like to turn this over to Mari Nakahara. Thank you, Anne, and hello, everybody. My name is Mari Nakahara. I am the curator for architecture, design, and engineering at the Prince and Photographs Division. I'm here today to talk about the library's participation in the National Cherry Blossom Festival. The library holds over 162 million items, covering an almost universal range of the subject in diverse formats, including resources related to cherry blossoms and their history. Right after I was hired as a Japanese reference librarian at the library's Asian division in 2007, I found these illustrations of 11 varieties of the cherry blossoms, which were given from the city of Tokyo to Washington, D.C. in 1912. I was so excited to see this, and I began to uh, dream of making them known more broadly. The more I found um, that I explored the library's collection, and the more I found holdings related to the cherry blossoms and the 1912 gift. Long story short, I, along with my colleague Catherine Blood, also PNP, mounted the Sakura, Cherry Blossoms as Living Symbols Friendship Exhibition for an occasion of the 100th anniversary of the Cherry Blossom Tree Gift. Multiple programs were held along with the exhibition, including gallery talks, lectures, K-12 programs, and so on. 
the exhibition and its gallery talk, and also many educational materials are still available via the library website. Oh, did I show you the, actually the drawings? Did you see the drawings? Oh, okay, yeah. all right. So um, if you go to the website, you can still see, for instance, at the top, learn more, or public program and exhibition items, so you can see everything. Pursuing one of the library's goals of providing general understanding of American cultural, intellectual, and the social life, and of other peoples and nations, I decided to continue to host events and programs related to cherry blossoms, coinciding with the National Cherry Blossom Festival every spring, even though the scale is much smaller. One of the events is called Japanese Culture Day. This program presented by the library's Asian division and also the Center for the Book introduces children and adults to the Japanese culture through hands-on origami artwork creation, trying on kimono, and other activities as you are seeing on the web. By participating in these activities, people not only enjoy, but also have an opportunity to learn the meaning of these, each activity from the library staff member and the volunteers who have a depth of the knowledge of Japanese culture. Additionally, Japan America Society of Washington, D.C. present Japan in a Suitcase, a program about Japanese children's life and culture. We each year also provide special presentations such as children's book readings and introduction of Japanese food. This year, Tsuyoshi Takemori of DC Yamato Juku Karate Club will demonstrate karate. Children will find additional supplies which I must keep confidential till the day of the event. <laughs> <laughs> last but not least, Cherry Blossom Princesses from the last few years instruct the children in the art of tiara making. Children also will have the opportunities to explore Young Readers Center's current and classic books. The other program is a presentation by professionals who have a depth of knowledge on cherry blossoms and US-Japan friendship. I have invited speakers from the National Park Service and book authors. This year, three Washington, D.C. area authors Anne McLaren, actually she's there, right there. Stefan Boss and Sandra Moore will share their bonsai experience in an illustrated panel presentation. This panel discussion presented by the library's Asian division and prints and photographs division is an opportunity to learn about the 53 bonsai trees which Japan gave as a bicentennial gift to the United States in 1976. The trees led to the founding of the National Bonsai and the Penjin Museum at the U.S. National Arboretum, which was later augmented by bonsai from China, North America, and elsewhere. The panel aims to expand the public's knowledge, awareness, and understanding of these enchanting miniature trees that are living works of art. The authors will discuss how the national collection of the bonsai inspired their books. I'm McLaren in Bonsai and Paging, Ambassadors of Peace and Beauty, provides the comprehensive overview of the national collection. Both is the author of In Training, which features insightful photography. More, in the children's book, The Peace Trees from Hiroshima, tells the story of Yamaki Pine, a bonsai in training since 1625. 
This year's Japanese Cultural Day will be held on Saturday, this coming Saturday, March 25th, between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. at the library's Young Readers Center in Thomas Jefferson Building, the same building where you are. Japan in a Suitcase will be presented at 11 a.m. and 1.30 p.m., followed by karate demonstration and a big surprise. The panel discussion on bonsai gift with, will be held on Tuesday, April 11th, at the library's West Dining Room, located on the sixth floor of the James Madison Building. We will be begin with the book signing at 11.30, followed by the presentation at noon. Both events are free and open to the public. Tickets are not needed. You will hand this handout in the program tonight. I look forward to meeting with you at the event. I would like to end my talk by introducing the Edo prints, which, will be, uh, which are held at Libraries Prints and Photographs Division. Between 2005 and 2006, the Nichibunken International Research Center for Japanese Studies in Japan contributed funding support to digitize 1,100 of the library's Edo prints and also assembled the multi-institutional team of the scholars from Japan and the United States to provide new cataloging data for all of the Edo prints at the library. These images are available through the library's prints and photographs division online catalog, which we call PPOC. These include some examples of prints which are related to Kyogen. Please visit PPOC to explore these and other treasures. Thank you very much and enjoy uh, today's Kyogen talk and the presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, and I hope that you can come back to some of these events. Um, this evening is the first time that we've presented Kyogen at the Library of Congress, an art designated by UNESCO as one of the masterpieces of oral and intangible heritage of humanity. We once presented a No Theater Troupe, which was a memorable evening, and I wanted to ask you, Ipei-san, about the relationship of Kyogen and No Theater. Good evening. So, first off, that's a big question uh, the relationship between no and kyogen. Originally, they were one and the same. So we have no and kyogen, and those, uh, these two drama forms coexist within the single genre of uh, no gaku. Uh, so to, the way to enjoy it is to see it um, alternately. First no, and then uh, a Kyogen interlude. No という芝居が、えー、悲劇性の強い、えー、お話をお歌いと舞いで表現する歌舞劇であって。So uh, no is often、uh, the themes are rather tragic and、uh, it's structured on a song and dance. 表現というものは日常的に、えー、普遍的な笑いを題材とした会話劇である。And、uh, on the other hand, Kyogen、uh, treats everyday subjects.、Um, the characters are common people, and、uh, it's about their comedic situations of their everyday life. これは昔の人はだいたいまるまる一日ぐらいかけて。So in the past,、uh, people would spend the entire day watching these plays. So it would be a repetition of、uh, no, then Kyogen, no, and then Kyogen. Of course,、uh, we have better things to do these days. <laughs> so normally, you would go see one no play or one Kyogen play. 
、狂言というものが、えー、演目の時間が大体20分から30分しかないので。狂言というものは今晩のように狂言だけを見るお客さんというものが増えてきたので脳と狂言がバラバラのように思われがちなんですけれどももともとは一つのジャンルのお芝居です。じゃあ、音楽。そうですね。脳を見て、えー、緊張したあ感動した感情を狂言を見て解放して笑っていただく。Yes, exactly like a counterpoint. So no is very sober and profound, very tense, and then you would watch the kyogen for that release. You know, we you were saying that kyogen is a, a theater of gentle humor and everyday satire and everyday situations. And I was reading that、uh, your father, I believe, made a comment about how Kyogen is like tofu. And I wondered if you'd care to expound on that. So, ironically,、uh, it started as a slur against the Shigeyama family. 武家社会に組み込まれたお芝居であって明治維新に武家社会が崩壊してまあいわゆるの全国の能楽師たちが一度リストラされるんです。In the Meiji period, when the samurai went out of power,、uh, all the kyogen performers and no performers lost, basically lost their jobs. でまあ、いろんな講演者の方であったりパトロンの方を見つけて、えー、細々と続けてはいくんですけれども。Uh, so they attempted to survive through the patronage and support、um, of people who were willing to do so. 能というお芝居には少なくとも20人近い、えー、役者が揃わないと公演が成り立たない。Um, to mount a no play, you need at least 20, 20, uh, 20 逆に狂言というものは、uh, 5、6人いけば、uh, いれば可能である。On the other hand, a 狂言 play,、uh, you only need five or six people. もちろんそんなあお金がたくさんあるパトロンばかりではないので安いものがあ受け入れやすい時代もある。So I think uh, uh, it, it made it the, the そして、えー、時間が短いものの方を好まれる時代もあるんです。And also、uh, they're shorter, which is sometimes preferred.、えー大正時代から明治あ昭和の初期にかけて日本の世の中で、えー、女性の力というものが強くなりつつある、うんまあ、そういったその婦人たちの集まりのパーティーの余興であったり。Uh, so often the Kyogen plays are functioned as a, a entertainment at these、uh, girl, girls' parties. So, 婦人たちが、えー、力を入れる、えー、子供さんたちの集まりであったり。And also、uh, for gatherings for children. そういうものに日本の伝統芸能を見せるのに都合の良かったのが狂言なんです。Mm-hmm. And so Kyogen was very well adapted to these kind of、um, もともとある能楽の形から狂言だけを切り取って売り出したのが僕のおじいさんのおじいさん。そういうのが、ね、狂言だけを切り取って売り出したのが僕のおじいさんのおじいさん。
あそこの余興も茂山だここのパーティーも茂山だここの結婚式も茂山だというふうになってきた。So, um, then my ancestor, they would perform everywhere, weddings, at temples, at parties, and、uh, it became to be perceived that 茂山狂言 was everywhere. で京都の、まあ代表的な言葉なのかわからないですけれども、おかずに困れば、晩ご飯のおかずに困ったら、豆腐にでもしておけという言葉があるんです。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、あ茂山の狂言は豆腐みたいだとどこの余興にでもほいほい出ていきやがるとそういう陰口を叩かれた。So, uh, 茂山狂言 came to be bad mouth、um, as 豆腐狂言 that it was、uh, everywhere, common, banal, cheap. でそれを聞いたあおじさんのおじいさんは怒らずに豆腐で行こうかと。But、uh, my ancestor well, said,、uh, Well, what's wrong with tofu? Tofu is fine. お料理屋さんでお客様に出される豆腐として提供お客様に提供されるお豆腐もあれば家のお台所でお母さんが出してくれるお豆腐だってあるんだと。So, tofu is extremely versatile. There's a tofu that your mom Would put on the dinner table, or there's a tofu that is presented in a very refined way in a restaurant. So, as long as there is a tofu for that, that is appropriate for that place, it should not inconvenience anyone. No, 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 お子様のお催しの時はお子様用の豆腐になろうと。So if it's a very、uh, classy uh, high end event,、uh, it can be that, or if it's a kids event,、uh, it can be that also. なので基本的には、千、uh, 山千五郎家というものは壊れればノーとは言わない。<笑>あの、きょ、きょ、きょ、を注文されれば。そんなところはいけないとは言わない。そう、あ、basically、あ、シゲマ狂言、will never say no。wonderful。So, so we um we wanted to ask you a little bit about the training of actors and I know it's very much a father to son apprenticeship kind of thing and I was wondering how old most actors are how old were you when you began and when did you make your first appearance。初めて舞台に立ったのが4歳の時なので、大、uh, 体、えー、その半年ぐらい前から準備をして、And I prepared for this role for about six months. 舞台に立ったと聞いてます。Uh, that's what I hear. 覚えてない。<笑> I don't remember it. And,、um, we were thinking about Two, the, how do you know? It's a long apprenticeship, I know, and we can talk about the study of techniques, but how do you know when you're finished? Is there a, a, an official ceremonial moment that you begin to make your <coughs> debut as an adult? So there's a play called、uh, Tsurigitsune. その演目をすれば、一人前の狂言師になるというふうには聞いてます。So I've heard that once you have a role in t s u r i g i t s u n e that means that you have become a full-blown 狂言 actor。僕がその狂言をしたのが大体今から、えー、17年ぐらい前ですかね。For me, that happened about 17 years ago. でもまだ親父には怒られるので。But my father uh, was uh, very critical about it. まだうちの親父は僕を一人前の狂言師として認めてないかもしれません。So in my father's eyes, no doubt, I'm still not yet a full 狂言 actor. And that you'll have the chance to see his father, Shibesan, tonight, who's a very, very distinguished actor. And we、uh, wanted to know,、um, too, about the hereditary title that he carries and how does, what is the nature of this?
もともと私どもの家は、茂山千五郎という名前が当主名であって。Uh, so、the head of our family,、uh, the name for that is 茂山千五郎。今日来ている氏名というのは、二人目なんです。Uh, so、Shime, my father, who's here tonight,、uh, he is the second そういったり So、you might come out with a new work, 例えば、えー、埋もれていた作品を復活させたり、or an old work. えー、能楽師と呼ばれる人たちが歌舞伎の本興行に、えー、出てみたりとか。And sometimes you would have no actors、uh, performing in 歌舞伎 plays. 当時としては信じられないような活動をした。And that was absolutely unbelievable by the standards of that time. 実際に僕のおじいさんは歌舞伎の興行に出たことによって能楽協会から、えー、脱会通告を受ける。Oh. So, uh, my grandfather, because he appeared in a 歌舞伎 play, he was actually uh, uh, made to resign from the No Association. で、えー、そのおいろんな垣根を取っ払う時のお名前がうちのおじいさんがまだ氏名であって戦後論になってなかった。So,、um, at, when all this was happening, my grandfather was、uh, still called Shime and not yet Sengoro at the time when all these reforms were taking place. So, the first time I was in the world, I was in the world. For us,、uh, the name is associated with that very,、uh, this period of great innovation. And also,、uh, the Chinese characters for Shime is、uh, 753, which in Japan is a very、um, auspicious and celebratory event、um, that celebrates the health of children. 新しく芸名として、えー、作ろうと。So、ここで面白かったのが、死んでからじゃ面白くないと。生きてるうちに使命が二人いてもいいんじゃないか。So the funny thing is,、uh, we decided、uh, we don't have to wait till that person dies.、Um, it's okay if there are two 使命。<笑>日本ではあまり考えられないことなんですけれども。Uh, in Japan, that's a little bit、um, unthinkable. あの非常に革新的だったそのうちのおじいさんの弟の人が海外に行けばいくらでもいるぞと。So, uh, my grandfather's brother, he said, well, just step out of, outside of Japan and you see that、um, it's normal. It's very normal. Lots of people have、uh, the, the name of their parents or their fathers. 気にせず使おうかということで。So, don't worry about it. うちの家に芸名の使命が生まれた。And that is how,、uh, She may became a family name. Thank you. And、um, speaking, continuing the line of comments about your father and so on, I know that when you study、uh, the, the characteristic techniques,、uh, the, the kata,、um, they are、uh, almost codified and so on. But I understand that a great actor puts his own stamp on these, makes his own version. うちの父とかあおじいさんというものは自分が舞台でやっている7割ぐらいしか教えてくれないんです。Uh, so, uh, take for example my father or grandfather, they will only teach us about 70% of what they know. そこが代々伝承される部分であ。Oh, so that part is what has been transmitted. あとの3割は自分で肉付けをする。But the remaining 30% is really up to you to expand upon. その自分で肉付けした部分は決して教えてくれません。And that part,、uh, there's no way they're going to give you that. 
見て盗むというのは、今でも、今でもだから、非常に人の舞台を見るというのは、狂言師、能楽師に、古典芸能に携わる者にとっては、非常に重要なお稽古になります。日本でクラシックを聴く人というのがすごく少なくなってきたんですね。So, uh, in Japan, uh, less and less people are listening to classical music. 同時に狂言を見る方というのはもうクラシックより少ないんです。And, uh, kyogen, theater, uh, 両方とも一般的には変わった人に見られがちなんですよ、ね。So, uh, in general,、uh, people who go to these things、um, are seen as atypical,、um, not normal. <笑><笑>いわゆるクラシックに興味のある方であれば、日本のクラシックにもひょっとしたら興味がお持ちになりやすいかもしれない。So our thinking was that if you're interested in classical music, that is Western classical music,、um, you might be interested in Japanese classics. 日本の古典に興味のある方であるのであれば、あーヨーロッパのクラシック音楽の方が興味をお持ちになれるかもしれない。And vice versa, if you're interested in Japanese classics, you would no doubt be interested in Western classical music. We thought it would be easy for the, for the audience、uh, to, to understand what we're attempting to do. So we had the idea that this might be an audience that was.本当の道は一本の綱の上を通っているのだが綱が張られているのは高いところではなく地面すれすれであるそれは歩かせるためというよりむしろつまずかせるためのもののように見える。私は困り果てていた本当なら今すぐにでも出
So this is my cousin. The voice you heard before was my grandfather. It's just to give you a very quick sense of some of the uh, remarkable gestures that their family has made. And uh, this might be a good spot at which we could have one of you ask a question. I know that we have to give time for um, the actors to get ready. Before we finish, uh, let me just say, before I forget, that we are uh, able to announce a very extensive Utamaro exhibit at the Arthur Sackler fam uh, Gallery for April 9th through April 8th through July 9th. And there's some brochures about this. And again, we thank our partners at the Freer Gallery and the Sackler Museum as well. So thank you so much for this time. And would you wish to take a question or two? Are you okay? From the audience? Okay. Of course. Uh, with the blue shirt there. Hi, thank you. I know that, uh, that that Kabuki has been traditionally uh, a male acting domain. Is the same true for Kyogen? Is it true for Kyogen? Or is it Kyogen? So, Kyogen is a male domain. It's a male domain. It's a male domain. It's a male domain. It's a male domain. Well, that was wishful thinking. I almost said women only. But yes. Um, <laughs> No, and both no and Kyogen are uh, limited to men. Yes. Um, I've attended a number of Kyogen and no and Kabuki performances in Japan, in Italy, and in the United States. Um, six months ago, on September 16th, I saw a performance at the um, historic uh, Teatro della Pergola in Florence, Italy and it was sponsored by the Embassy of Japan in Rome and the Japanese consulate in Florence. And they, they, they did just what you described, which is that there was first uh, an extensive no play and then two different Kyogen theater productions. Uh, now, the Kyogen uh, actors were from the Okura school. And actually, I wrote down the names. One was Zenchiko Jural and the other was Enchiko Daiviro. And my question was this, if you are familiar with this particular company, would they have a different style of presenting uh, Kyogen than your company? In other words, is there a variety of different styles today in the production of Kyogen theater? Uh, of course I know both of them very well. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Juro, uh, he's, uh, uh, um, he, he's much more advanced than I am. Daijiro is a bit younger. And Daijiro is a bit younger. And I actually belong to the same Okura school. Um, the scripts are uh, almost identical. ただ、あちらは常々東京で活動されていて。で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で
I think I saw you in Kyoto at a performance um, for a conference in uh, late August last year. I'm not sure. Uh, but I was wondering about the music. Do you use the music and uh, how the music came into being with the theater acting? I believe it was either Kyogen or no, it was. Are you sure it was me? <laughs> End of August last year. Where? Kyoto. Kyoto. No, 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 例えばお酒を飲んでいるシーン。For example, when you have a scene of sake drinking。これは世界バンコク共通だと思うんですけど。I think this is pretty much universal。酒を飲んだら大概歌うんです。So when you have a drink, you start to sing。そういうものに音楽的な要素が入ったりとか。So in that sense, I might have used music。するので、それがまあ能の歌いのパロディであったり。Um, but that would be a, a sort of parody of the chanting that occurs in No. なので、えー、少し能に似た歌いというのも歌ったりはします。So I think we might have used some singing that、uh, was similar to No chanting. So, so I guess I'm interested in the chanting. あ、その、まあ能の歌いについてあの質問ですけど、その高くするとき、低くするとき、どのように。ノーにはあの音符がないんですけれども。Uh, so first of all, in no chanting,、uh, you don't have music, a, a score. 文字の横にこう文字が書いてある。So um, you have a text, and next to the characters, you have symbols. 上中下って書いてある。And it,、uh, it's a、uh, up, down, and middle. これは上であり中であり下であるという。Uh, so <laughs> the idea. これはあの人のその日の体調によって違う。And this is very relative. It, it almost depends on、uh, how you are that day, your condition that day. 人によっても違うので。And it varies from individual. あの決まってないというのが。So it's not a fixed.、Um, it's probably most accurate to say that it's not a fixed thing. Maybe one more, and then we will have to move forward.、Uh, Hi, you've emphasized、uh, revival and the words classics. Are there still being new works produced today and written? Generation-wise, 伝えていく人にとって重要な義務でもあるんですね。Um, so the way I see it,、um, uh, to revive things have, that have、uh, sort of departed from our contemporary、um, mindset, I think of that as almost an obligation. お客様に、えー、見ていただいて、えー、そんなに受けが良くなくても。So even if the audience does not quite get it. 残念ながら僕たちはそれを知らなきゃいけない。Um, unfortunately, it's up to us to know that. それはだから僕たちはこの芸能に携わっている以上こう繰り返し行わなければいけない作業で。So, that is something、uh, we, as people who are involved in this traditional art form, this is something that we have to continue to do. 
そういうものを発表すると、そういうものが好きなマニアの方が来てくださる。Uh, so Nani said, Koten to Yubare Mono got Yako Hachiju Shikanai no de. So,、uh, in any case, we only have 180 plays which are considered the classics. Mitsukusu no ga Hijoni Kantana Ryona. So, it's in a way, it's easy to see all of them. Tada, Yako Hachiju, Zenbu, Bokutachi ga Enji Nai no de. But,、uh, of course, we don't put on all 180 plays. もちろん時代に、えー、あったものを演じることが多いので、cases, そういうマニアックなこう研,究的研究会的な公演。Uh, so performances、uh, that are geared more towards a,、um, a, a deep research attitude. そういうものも少なからず僕たちは続けていく必要があると思います。You are, in fact, I want to say too, you, you create new plays as well, don't you? I think so. You are right.、Uh, yes. So, this extraordinary family is、uh, from the time of Shakespeare playing and preserving the very old and remarkable, but also creating the new. It's amazing. So, we thank you for being here and we are grateful. We look forward to the performance. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.